It's officially one for the history books. I've lived in Alaska for 52 years and I've never seen it this bad. All of a sudden I realized we actually were in a real situation. 2014 takes Alaska's warmest year on record since 1926. Sitting up here in what's normally a snow-covered paradise, probably one of the worst winters we've ever had. Great time to make a snowmobile film. Snow enthusiasts from all walks are waiting in the wings, hoping it improves. And you have winners like that, and you have winners like this. That's just how it rolls. No, you don't have winners like this. This is unprecedented. Yeah, I mean, we have one now. I do. We get the Kickstarter funded. This is going to be the sickest winter ever. And I'm in Yakima with Joe and Heath at Joe's house, training for X Games. I get back up here, there's no snow. Snow was melting pretty fast, had a couple 68 degree days. I start going riding and we're going to zones that normally are like our honey holes that you literally can't even get to because there's five miles of alders that haven't even laid down. We're going to assess the pass and assess the parking lot situation to see the snow the snow difference, so this is where the majority of the snow machining goes on. Because there's normally a lot more snow. It's been a lower snow year for sure. It's been a weird winter, man. This is crazy. There's tons of snow, there'd be tons of people here. It's like from that bench all the way over to like here. It was like a ton of snow. We were actually getting a lot of questions from fans and backers that were saying, are you guys actually going to make this movie? I mean, these walls are usually like super high. Yeah, we need about a million more feet of snow. At some point, we started to question whether or not it was going to be a film that we're going to be able to pull off this year. told ourselves we weren't going to stop. No matter what, we're going to push, push, push to get this film done. The low snow year really added to Winter Project because it became a new story element. It was a documentary. We were documenting what we were doing, and so the fact that we didn't have any snow or hardly any snow was part of the story. You know, a lot of people could say that it was, you know, the worst thing that could have happened, but I think, yeah, definitely some positives came out of it. I mean, it made us work that much harder. It was more rewarding when we did finally get the jumps, finally did get the snow, finally got the shots that we wanted. Just kept a positive attitude the whole time and just knew that you know, we had to keep going. Alaska really stepped up. A lot of people were calling us, letting us know where the snow was. to see all the support we got. It's like a family up here. We all support each other, and Alaskans like to see Alaskans do great things. 